Hello, it is I, Sam Scott, aka Cape Man Destroyer of Evil, Defender of Justice, but also the most handsome and sexiest man alive. Anyways, as I was saying, if you don't remember me, I was from the first Bullfrog movie, but then I was all like, screw evil, I'm gonna become Cape Man! Hey guys! Oh, hey Sam! What the f are you doing on my property? I'm not Sam Scott anymore. No, that name is dead. I am now Cape Man! I, Sam Scott, was once popular because I was like best buddies with Travis Williams, but since I was like, f you, I'm quitting, b Everyone hated me except for my good old friend Gabby. Anyways guys, summer just started and Gabby, who's my best friend by the way, is currently playing video games up in my house. But you can see that for yourself. Let's go. Oh yeah, and um, guys, my parents don't know that I'm a superhero. So, um, <laughs> Anyways guys, are you ready for Tour de Cape Man? Come on! Gabby, school just ended like a day ago. Is my entire summer just gonna be you breaking into my house and playing video games? Maybe you should start locking your windows, man. Don't you have like some karate class to be at though? Nah, I graduated last week. Also, I temporarily paralyzed when my teachers had the graduation ceremony, so it won't be allowed back. Weren't you just there though for like five months? I'm a fast learner. Three teenagers were just caught stealing from a house in the suburbs of the city. It is unknown who stopped these teens, but we suspect it was Bullfrog and the Superiors. Cool, the Superiors stopped another robbery. No, that was made just a few minutes ago. Damn, the city gets news around fast. Don't you see, Gabby? Other people are getting credit for my work. Uh-huh, yeah. Tell me something I didn't know. I'm just sick and tired of Bullfrog getting all the credit. Dude. I'm your best friend, and I know you're doing all the awesome stuff. Isn't that enough? No! Wow, hurtful. I'm just sick and tired of this city not giving me credit. Hey, you just need to keep doing what you're doing, and maybe someday you'll save the world or some shit. Yeah, okay. Alright, um, Gabby, I'm gonna go get some snacks. Do you want anything? Yeah, could you grab me a Coke? Uh, yeah, sure. Also, what the heck is that over there? Oh, your Xbox was taking too long to load, so I went to the dollar store and I put it up. Welcome home? Hello, sir. Would you like to buy some of my inventions? Oh, what are those? Well, uh, these are some of the coolest inventions ever. I made them myself. Are your arms ever tired from you brushing your teeth? Well, now you can brush your teeth with the flying toothbrush. Not only does this toothbrush come with automated fluoride, but it also requires no batteries, because it runs on saliva. How awesome is that? Look at this dust buster. It's an ordinary dust buster, right? No, wrong, think again. It actually shoots up flames. What the hell? Why the hell does this thing even exist? Cause it's fucking awesome. Oh shit. This is a liquid nitrogen squirt gun. Dude, no offense, but um, I've seen like a lot better stuff in Travis's lab. Travis Williams? I should not have said that. You're Sam Scott, Travis's cousin. How did you know that? I heard Travis, he was an angel, and he was sent down to to, to get Lucifer, and to, 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 to protect people from Lucifer, and also it, it, Lucifer's minions, they built the pyramids, that's why they're part of the Illuminati, which is why it's a pyramid in an eye, because the Illuminati is a secret organization that wants to steal all the world's eye drops. Wait, what? Okay, Mr. Scott, that's because you haven't experienced the true knowledge of the tinfoil hat. Aw, oh, shit, are you one of those crazy conspiracy guys? Crazy? Nah, conspiracy theorists. <laughs> Can't get me a job, Travis. Wait, what? No, no, no. First off, I quit like a freaking year ago. Second off, even if I could, I don't think I could. Shit! All hail the power of the mushroom. Who the hell are you?
died! You just survived an explosion! Sam Scott can fly? That's slightly unusual. Did you get me my soda? No! Screw you, man! Get me! I saw Ignite! Um, what? Ignite is still alive! Didn't she die at Travis's lab like a year ago? Th that's what I thought, but she apparently escaped! Well, do you at least have any idea where she is? What do you think? Calm down, man. Why don't you just ask Travis to help you find her? He probably has her hooked up to some weird-ass tracking device or something. Travis? No! No way I'm not gonna ask that dickhead! Why? He supported Mentallo, remember? Sam, don't bring politics into this. Just ask. No! Travis would probably use her for something far more worse than she is currently doing right now. I have to be the one to find her. Just minutes ago, a house in the suburban area caught fire and exploded. No casualties were reported. A teenage boy was seen entering the building and then seconds later was thrown out by the explosion. Oh crap, I'm on the news! Yeah, but nobody knows who you are. So? Some people may actually believe that you were the one who started the fire. Nobody will believe that. Hey, I'm just warning you. Whatever, I'm gonna do some research now. So can you buy me that soda now? No! Wait a minute. <laughs> Great googly moogly! Hello viewers! This is Gordon and I got something very important to share with you today. Sam Scott, Travis Williams' cousin, has been seen entering a burning building and um, now the suburbs of Oak Tree Hill earlier today. Somehow he survived the fire without a scratch. But just seconds later, he appeared to have flown away like a rocket. And, and, and this led me to believe that Sam Scott was possibly part of the secretive organization of the Liber Illuminati and the, uh, the group hidden in the depths of Oak Tree Hill. However, after further investigations, I've come to the conclusion that Sam Scott might possibly be... The Antichrist! This is Gordon, signing off. How do, how do I work this goddamn thing? to a different town after what you did, but don't get me wrong, I'm pretty happy that you're still here. Because now I can get my revenge. <laughs> Have you ever had your heart set on fire? You love it. What the hell was that? It's a capering. It's really stupid. And this is a cape knife! But it looks like a regular knife. That's because it is. Um, Gabby, what the hell are you doing in my room? Um, well, my parents think I'm at a summer camp. And? I'm actually going to be staying here all summer. What the hell, Gabby? Do you think I was just supposed to be taking care of you all summer? Come on, Sam. You know I'm impulsive. I had an idea and I went with it. Why didn't you show up to the camp anyways? Well, 
My parents signed me up for some outdoorsy camp at Ice Hill, and I want to stay home and play video games and hang out with you all summer! Huh, that explains the makeup kit. I'm pretty sure that's your makeup kit. Is that why there is a poster of Kinesis with a bunch of smooch marks on it in the bathroom? Maybe? We need to find Ignite and not... Yeah! How do we find Ignite? I don't know. Hey Gabby, have you just been sleeping in my closet this whole time then? Yeah, pretty much. Just days ago, we reported that a house exploded in the suburbs. And now, another one has been reported to explode. Guys, can we report anything except for crimes? I mean, think of all the things going on in the world. We got an orange president... Ignite is blowing up more houses, do you know what this means? Um... Ignite is blowing up more houses! How do you know it's her? She was at the first explosion, and plus she has freaking fire powers! Where are you going? I'm going to find Ignite. What? She blew up a house two days ago. Maybe every two days, she blows up another house. You think she's gonna blow up another house? At this exact moment? Yeah, I think it's a pattern. That's stupid. No, it's genius. Anything? Nope. Told ya. I think I just did! I took my meds from my mom. This is my green screen. I got something cool to show you. I've noticed a pattern of Sam Scott being present at both of the recent house explosions. I think that Sam Scott has a connection with fire, and that's why he's able to come out of the house explosions without a scratch. Which would explain why he was able to walk in that first house fire without a scratch. Mom and Ed were all this, along with the evidence that I have shown previously in my last video, proves that Sam Scott is in fact the Antichrist. This is Gordon signing off. Hey Gabby, I'm going to the dry cleaners. Gabby? Gabby? Hey, uh, where were you this morning? I was just out buying some more video games. Your collection sucks. My collection does not suck. You've just got retro games. You want to meet me down at GameStop? Can't. Busy. What? Are you still stalking Ignite? I'm not stalking. I'm doing something important. Gotta go. Oh my god, sir, your head is on fire! Sam Star, we meet again. Wait, how do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? Ignite? What's with the mask and the... T oh my god. Um, uh, in your face, it was all like, okay, and then it's all now like, oh. Well, you see, Sam, it's pretty simple, actually. My powers are eating me alive. My skin is mutating. I'm going to die unless I wear this mask and this coat to protect myself. And surprisingly, this coat's doing a great job. And the mask, I just use that to hide my hideous face, and also, it makes my voice sound cool. I'm not entirely sure why it makes my voice sound cool, but hey, I'm not complaining. Also, die now. I'm not gonna let you kill a bunch of innocent people. Oh god! Break 
breaking news, yet another house is burnt. Oh, I give up. I'm lost. I'm completely lost. If I don't do anything pretty soon, Ignite's just gonna destroy the whole city. Sam, for once in your life, you gotta stop worrying so much. Um, what? There's a fire person literally blowing shit up, and you want me to stop worrying? Yeah, exactly. Come on, let's go do something fun in the city tonight, and then you can go back to worrying. <sighs> what do you have in mind? I don't know, maybe a movie. There's this new movie out about a maniac who goes around a city blowing up houses. I think it'll keep your mind off the fact that- You know, let's just stop. Let's just go see the Han Solo film, all right? Well, that was a horrible movie. Yeah, it was. It's a shame that Solo, a Star Wars story, came out a year ago, and you just don't have any sense of time. It's also a shame that Jack has spilled that sherry icy on your hair. Well, at least my hair looks cool. Hey, I'm sorry for um, dragging you into the middle of that fight earlier. It's... it's fine. It's fine. It just... it seems like you care more about these stupid explosions than you do about your best friend. Gabby, I really wish I could spend more time with you, but I'm almost done to finding Ignite. I have to stop her. And if I don't, the buildings will keep exploding. I... Look, we still have two more months. I promise you, when I stop her, you can do whatever the hell you want, and I'll just do what you want. I'll tell you what, I'll let you do anything you want on Friday night, no matter how weird it is. Gamathon! Okay, Gamathon. Nice. You think Ignite's hot, don't you? I'm sorry, she's pretty. Um, she's trying to kill us. So? She's beautiful. Okay, you know what? Just stop this conversation and go get some freaking ice cream. Boy, I'm out. Sam Scott, what are you up to? Let's see. He always seems to disappear at the scene of a crime. I saw him go to the dry cleaner with a red cape once. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my god! Sam Scott is Cape Man, and Cape Man is the Antichrist! Dear God. It all makes sense now. Annie M? Yes? How did you get my number? The internet. Meet me at my house tomorrow afternoon. Hey Sam, open up! Oh. Gabby, where were you all day? I was out buying snacks for tonight. Tonight? Oh yeah, oh yeah, the game of thought. I, I'm sorry, Gabby, I, I completely forgot about it. I've been trying to find a night. Ow, what the hell? You made You down, you tend to not really think straight. <laughs> you know what? Screw you, I'm leaving. And where do you think you're going? I'll go stay at a hotel or something. You can't afford a hotel. Screw you! Ah, uh, Ignites, come. Sit down next to me on my green screen. For the past few days, I've been watching Sam Scott, and it seems like you've been having some rather hostile encounters with him. Hell yeah, because you, yeah. you want to get revenge on Sam Scotch because he gave you fire powers, am I correct? Well, what if I told you that Sam Scott is actually someone far bigger than we imagined? Sam Scott is Cape Man. Yeah, I know that. You want to get revenge on Cape Man for giving you those powers, and I want to expose Cape Man for what he truly is. Hold, Hold on, what? He's the Antichrist. I say that we report this to the mayor, and the, once the mayor finds out that he's the Antichrist, he'll arrest him. Really? That's your plan? Okay, well what's your plan? Kill him! Sam's got the death to die! What? We can't kill him. Killing him would make us just as bad, if not worse, as the Antichrist. Don't, Don't you think, think that since he's the Antichrist, he deserves to die? No! You're weak. I'm not gonna help you if you plan on killing someone. Does it look like I care? If you don't help me, I'll kill Cape Man. And you. What? What are you doing with that? I just turned away my best friend. She probably hates me now. I should just call my other friends. They might know what to do. Hey, Becky, what's up? It's your old assistant, Sam. Huh, so you hung up. I should probably just call Nathan.
Save my friend. It's cake time. Dun, dun, dun. some superhuman powers now, so, uh, let's do this, Annie. Um, all right. One, two, three. Yeah, um, sorry about that. You have crushed me with these powers, Sam. And ever since then, this tower's been slowly making me alive. I just like that new plan. It must go out. Gabby, cut yourself out with my cape knife! Ow! Sam, you want to know the true reason why I've been going around blowing up houses? Stop trying to distract me, it's not gonna work. When we hired last year, when Metallo, I helped him blow up the Superior's trailer. But then after that, he got arrested, so of course, I had to work for someone else. Oh yeah? And who might that be? Travis! Travis hired you to blow up all his houses? Feels right, doesn't it? So let's punch it! What the hell happened? I just saved your ass. That's what happened. Gordon, what just happened? Liquid nitrogen squirt gun. Whoa, how can I ever repay you? By surrendering. Um, what? You're the Antichrist, you little shit. No, I'm not. You ain't wrong, you have an adult head up. Sam Scott, reveal yourself or else I'll... Oh no! Gosh, it's not really good with nuts, huh? Ow! What the hell? Thank you for saving my life! Why so angry if you're so happy to see me? I'm also really pissed off at you! I'm sorry, it's my fault. If I had just helped you find Ignite earlier, none of this would have happened. Good. This is a good redemption arc for you. Now we can go home. Yeah. Damn it, it's died again. Replay? Nah, I'm getting bored. Let's go get lunch. Okay. Wendy's? You've earned it. So now that Ignite is defeated, will our lives go back to normal? 
No. I still need to find out why Travis would hire Ignite to blow up all those houses. Unknown caller? Hello? Yeah, phone lines are ridiculously easy to hack. Bullfrog? So, anyway, we had a unanimous vote. I voted for Batman, but apparently he's not answering my calls after I drunk dialed him. Batman's a fictional character. Shut up! I'm talking. So I was very against the decision. In fact, I jumped out a window when the results came in in protest. They just laughed. Had to clean up the broken glass. Dude, what are you trying to say? Okay, so there's this real douchebag named Asimus going around just being a real prick. And for some reason, it's taken us more than 90 minutes to stop him, which is not normal for our rivals. In fact, we've been fighting with this son of a bitch for the past 12 months. Pain in the ass. Anyway, we realize that we can't defeat this guy alone, and again, Batman won't answer my calls. Jeez, he shoots someone's parents one time. So everyone on the team took a vote and blah, 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 blah. Sam Scott, will you and your actually useful hot lady friend like to join the superior? <gasps> what do you say, Gabby? Are you ready for another exciting adventure? It's been tough. Ever since Sarah moved away and Travis reversed Derpasaurus, sorry, brought Jeff's mental state back to a regular proportion, it's been hard with just fighting with me and my few allies that are left. Are you guys planning on bringing any new folks to the team anytime soon? <laughs> yeah, actually, we have two new members joining us tomorrow. Excellent. That brings us to our second question, Bullfrog. What is going on with the Similis? Yeah, we've been trying to catch him for like a year now, but don't worry. We're close to catching him, and I swear to you, we will, and we'll keep the city safe. Do you know his motives? It seems like he's trying to steal the powers of other superheroes. Do you know why? 
Yeah, we don't know why. I wonder why someone who could steal the powers of other superheroes would steal the powers of other superheroes. Oh wait, so then you could have a bunch of superhero powers. Who would not want that? Oh, I'm sorry, Bullfrog. We're gonna have to cut this interview a little bit short. Thanks for your time today. Um, anytime. Breaking news, local scientist Gary Garcia and his brother Peter, after nearly 11 years of trial and error, have finally perfected an injectable serum that can rapidly kill off cancer cells. You've heard it right here, folks. The cure for cancer has been invented, and it's a simple, injectable medication. Now, there has been no news in terms of the availability of the serum, when it'll be available to everybody, um, and what cancers it'll work on. But Gary and Peter will be joining me tomorrow night for an exclusive interview, where hopefully we can get some of these important questions answered. James, call Jerome Garcia. Calling. Travis? Hey man, uh, I was just watching the news and holy shit. J Jesus Christ, your dad and your uncle invented the cure for frickin' for frickin' for cancer. I mean, that's unbelievable. You must be so, so proud of them. Oh, fuck off, Travis. All right, all right, Jerome. I know that you're not exactly my biggest fan, but can't we just put aside our differences and be friends again? Travis, I can see right through you. You just want to be my friend now, so then later on you can take my dad's serum. What? No. So, after five years of you being a total dick to me, coincidentally, right after you've heard that my dad made a cure for cancer, you want to be my friend? Yeah, man, I just want to be friends with someone who loves science as much as I do. I don't even like science, Travis. I want to be an architect. So what, we can't still be friends? Goodbye, Travis. Jerome Garcia to go fuck himself? I am afraid that is beyond my capabilities at the moment. See shades of black and white.